Welcome back to smarthelping.com. I've got a nice to-do list tracker here. It's super simple to use. It um, gives you some visuals and we've got some filtering. Uh, I'm going to actually use this for our current house and um, you could use it for your business if you've got a, various things that you have to do um, over time like recurring items that you need to track when the last time you did it was how many days it's going to be until you need to do it again. And I've done some color uh, coding formatting here. So um, we're going to walk through this. Uh, so I just put in some things here like, okay, so we got to check the, the sump pump pit every, and it, you can pick by months or days when you're entering this data in. So I'm just saying it's every three months. And then the frequency, it's either, if it's once, it's just multiplying by this by 30. If it's days, it's just um, taking this value here. So you can see days would be three days, months would be 90 days if the the frequency is marked at three. Uh, you can go as down as many things as you want, you know, hundreds, 500 things if you really need to have that. Um, you could also have things that have multiple years, so it could be like 15 months, um, 36 months, whatever. Uh, and it'll show you, based on the entry in column E, which if you double click, you can see it'll give you the date. You just put in the date that you last did whatever you're, you need to do. And then based on that, it's going to tell you when the next check date is. So here it's saying... If I did this on October 18th, then the next time I need to do it is January 16th, roughly three months. And then we have a dynamic formula here that says the days until you are going to have to do this. So it's 82 days away. Let's say we say this is in days. And oh, now it turned red. And that's because we're minus. So we were supposed to do it on the 21st or the 18th. 1921. Where am I here? Days. It's subtracting. Oh, from today. It's the 26th. So it's today's the 26th. It's supposed to do on the 21st. It was last on the 18th. Now let's say it's every seven days. It's still yellow. Say it's every 10 days. You can see it turns yellow here. And what I've done to set the coloring is in the definitions. You can set this so it's going to turn red when less than or equal to this many days are left. So when things are getting close to needing to be done, they're going to turn red. Um, and I would had yellow between this many days and green if it's over this. So basically anything that's red is going to be if it's on that day. I'm actually going to change this to three. So that should give you yellow at one or two days, or I mean red if it's one or two days to go. Uh, and then three to four is going to be yellow, and then if it's over five, it could be green. Now you could change this. You could put this to like, you know, within six days, and then anything seven. Now you're going to get um, a little bit more of a expanded. So here within six days, this is now yellow. This is still red at two. Um, and yeah, that's, I mean, that's the general structure here. You're just entering your data. You'll keep track of all your items that you have. Re These are all basically recurring items. So you keep track of all those here, enter your timing assumptions, enter, and every time you do it, you just re-update the date that it was last done and all your clocks will reset automatically. So that's how this works. Um, it works in Google Sheets and to get a get access to a Google Sheet as long as you have a free Gmail address you can access it and use it. Um, let's go to my two filters. So I have one filter that says within X days so you can put in any amount of days here and it's going to show you any items that need done within this many days. So in the next 20 days we got two things that show up. If I put this to like 50 it's got these other uh, things that are within 30 days. And this could be, you know, so just list as many items, put it at 100. It's going to list everything that's within that many days. All you have to do is change E to. 
And then finally, we've got a hot list here. Well, not finally, we also have a visual, but the hot list is going to order everything that you have, but it's going to rank it by the days until you need to check it. So your most, your things that are coming up in the most recent amount of time are going to be right here or at the top, and then further away is going to be lower. And this is just ranking it by the days until check date automatically. And that will, this will all automatically change as anything on here changes. And these dates and the, the logic all updates through time. So as you pass one day forward, as you continue through um, your days, these numbers all automatically update based on the current date. Uh, then I added this visual. So this is automatic and this will go, I think it'll track, I set it to track at least like 100 or 200 things. So this chart automatically updates and it shows you each task you have at the bottom and then the bars are telling you the days until you need to um, check or update the given task that you're looking at. So if you got a lot of things like under five or 10, you know it's gonna be busy week. If you got a lot of things that are farther away, then you kind of don't need to worry as much. So that's pretty much it. I've made this as dynamic as possible, but super simple. Um, it's elegant. I think it will help anybody that's tracking, has to do upkeep on their home on a regular basis. Also, it could be used for businesses that just need to track like when you have to pay certain taxes, um, you know, when you have to do things. There's a million use cases for this. So that's why I try to make it as useful as possible, as broad as possible, um, but still have some interesting logic and dynamic uh, aspects to it. Uh, so if you want this, you can download it, or actually not download it, but it'll be $45 one-time fee. You can purchase it at smarthelping.com. I'll have it listed in here. It'll also be in, in the description box below. Um, and I'll send you the Google Sheet link as soon as it's purchased, and you just simply uh, go to the link, you'll go to file, make a copy, and then you'll have your own version of this because it's obviously going to be view only for this master template and then you can copy it and have your own to play around with and use um, at your discretion. Alright, well that's all I got for you. I'll see you on the next one.